Brava Cedar Shake Installation Video Series Part 3 Hip and Ridge Cap Installation Ensure compliance with applicable codes, industry best practice, and design specifications. At hips, mark and trim starters prior to installation, ensuring a straight, even cut. Cut shakes before they are installed. Dry fitting and marking, ensuring straight, even cuts for uniform installation up the hip. Installations use a randomized pattern of 5, 7, and 12 inch shakes. This may lead to a smaller than desired shake at the hip. Changing the layout by using different shake widths avoids using small cut shakes which may be difficult to fasten. Use two fasteners per shake. Fasteners must be ring shank roofing nails or screws. Ensure compliance with building code, warranty, and application requirements. At the hip, fasteners may need to be placed off of the locators. Take care not to over tighten the fasteners. Continue trimming and installing shakes up the hip in a continuous line. Provide a consistent 3 8 inch spacing across the hip center line. A minimum of 3 16 inch is required to allow for thermal expansion and contraction. At unvented ridges, provide a consistent 3 8 inch spacing across the ridge center line. A minimum of 3 16 inch gap is required. Install an 8 inch wide strip of self-adhering waterproof membrane that meets or exceeds ASTM D1970 at the hips and unvented ridges. Where ridge vents will be installed, hold shake back 2 inches from the ridge center line on each side. At vented ridge sections, install ridge vent according to manufacturer's specifications and code requirements. Roof venting is critical to roof integrity. Consult with the vent manufacturer and building code officials to ensure sufficient ventilation. Depending on quantity ordered, pallets may be made up of one type of shake or may consist of a mix of shakes and accessories. For best results, use the job site packing list to properly identify hip and ridge caps, field shakes, and other accessories. Hip and ridge caps are available for low, standard, and steep roof pitches. For symmetrical roof slopes where opposing slopes are equal, use low slope hip and ridge cap for hips with a slope of 512 or lower or on ridges with a slope of 412 or lower. Use standard slope hip and ridge cap for hips with a slope from 612 to 1412 or on ridges with a slope from 512 to 1012. Use steep slope hip and ridge cap for hips with a slope of 1512 or higher or for ridges with a slope of 1112 or higher. For asymmetrical roof slopes where opposing slopes are not equal, measure the required angle. The low slope hip ridge cap has an angle of 160 degrees, the standard 120 degrees, and the steep 90 degrees. Use the hip ridge cap that is the closest match to the angle measured. This may also apply to some non-standard hips such as turrets. In some of these cases, low slope hip and ridge cap may be necessary even though the roof slope is steep. Measuring the angle of the hip and ridge and choosing the matching hip and ridge cap is the best way to ensure correct parts are ordered and installed. Load the bundles of hip and ridge caps in the correct locations on the roof. Having the products correctly loaded on the roof ensures a smooth installation. Select the proper hip and ridge cap and place the first in position with a one half inch overhang at the center. Fasteners must be ring shank roofing nails or screws. Fasten with two fasteners at the locators. Hip and ridge caps are designed with some flexibility in order to conform to the hip or ridge. 
fasteners must penetrate through the deck or three quarter inches into the deck. Install hip caps matching the exposure of the field shakes with a maximum exposure of 10 inches. Ensure there are no exposed fasteners on hip ridge caps or in field shakes. Where hip caps come together at the ridge, drive fit, mark, and trim the caps to form a miter joint, and fasten. At transitions, avoid exposed fasteners using flashing or color-matched roof sealant. Fasten the ridge caps along the ridge at locators. Install ridge caps matching the exposure of the field shakes and hip caps with a maximum exposure of 10 inches. Ensure there are no exposed fasteners on hip ridge caps or in field shakes. Begin installing ridge caps at gable ends. Where ridge meets the roof slope, miter and seal fasteners with a color match sealant. At some transitions, custom flashing may be necessary or preferred for desired aesthetic. For more videos and information, visit us online at bravaroofstyle.com.